well um, so for the last couple of video I worked with um, only one um, CDS view although this CDS view bind it uh, like uh, two tables or many tables but finally actually we had only one CDS view within a one service but sometimes it may happen that you may need um, more than one CDS view in a single service uh, that that uh, you need to know that how it can be created. So for example, um, if I go to that our SAP, like for example, that um, sales order demo service, if I click on here, just So you can see actually that is the own uh, service name. The service name is this Udata service. That is the service type. And there are alerts of um, uh, CDS view. Uh, so how they prepare this. So today I will create this. Actually I will create own service with the two um, CDS view. So let's start. So basically what I will do, I will create on CDS view as plight. So from here you already know how to create CDS view. Um, if you don't know, you can check my uh, tutorial on a video. So here uh, data definition, click next and it is jet flight so jet a C, jet a cds s flight like view view one just for the name and another is the like um s s flight cds view okay just click next next and i have to select here that define view entity okay but it's not problem actually we are not create the entity i just view so here i can just remove everything save now we have to create a like above catalog dot sql sql view name that is just like sql and just for the basic and we need udata we need we need udata uh, published because it's finally it will it will be published on the udata model publish true then we will define define view it's like um jet scds view on as a select from it should be actually jet flight then this So from here we can just just five like e
so actually this uh, this should be the short name so it just excel sql so i can just remain okay so actually this is not necessary for this it's just for the scale purpose so our main view is this so now just save um we can also put the annotations but actually we are not doing this it's just for the testing purpose so now i can active here so you already know that how you can active how you can publish as a uh, udata model but actually what we will do uh, we will create another view so that we will have that finally we will bind these two view into one service so again i am just everything control c and if i create new other object uh, code data service data definition next and just um here this view one and like name this and this term i will collect data from sccr so i put sccr here so uh, cds view on sccr table okay so just next next entity finish so here i am just is sql view it's like view 2 just for the different name and here i am giving the table this as i am working for the two tables so i'm just make it two um actually already created so scale view jet scale view two or okay just a different name and from here actually i have to put the that carrier id is same so from here i am adding this additional uh this field so just here so it's not a good line so it's unknown because actually i have to change the table name so error is gone so now that is another view so i'm just uh, copying this to view so now what we have to do we have to make a service from here so earlier um, we created a service like from main service then we have to add service from here so now actually everything will do hana studio so now from here what we have to do uh, for this service we need to go to that new other object good data service and here 
uh, we have to if I select here the package and here you can find that core data service data definition so here actually uh, all of our service is here so if I select this So from here, um, from that service, what I have to do like the new service definition. Let it come. So basically that if I explore that is the view 2 and that is the view 1 so that is just a name in convention but it is okay new service definition so here actually we have to give a name like uh, for example um, jet Uh, jet air flight information service o data service just next define service okay okay so you can see that is the udata service and that is the name of our service and here actually we have to give that um, to name of our um, database table uh, sorry database view so here um, on this two view that is s flight view one and another is that this like so if you have uh, i have created only two view so if you have more view then you can also uh, create the you can just add, add the more view here that is called expose so now I have to active and this part is done so now what we have to do we have to now the binding uh, this so this database service name is yet a flight information service and it is active bits already so if I go there and like business service you can see that this service service binding here so this is still not there because we didn't still um, in the service we have to bind this now click on this and you can see that new service binding so again like jet service information just binding uh okay it's jet a service um 
here you can see the info just for the service and now you have to make sure what type of service it is so basically that is the udata version 2 so select the two data click next finish so now you can see this already added into that um, service binding so we need to actually um, we need to uh, publish so just click on the published so you can see that already two entity set is there you can preview or something like that and you can uh, actually that is the service url so you can just copy this here so just copy this service url and so now you can also check it is already there or not main service and uh, you can find that um, jet flight info service is not available so you don't manually need to add that service so um, if I call browser so yes So now you can see that uh, there are two service. Uh, one is that one table, um, S S C A R R table, and that S flight table. So now I'm also, if I call this service in that um, fewer applications, like. If I call, for example, um, go and um, view comments and open application generator, let it come. just okay so like what type of report for example that is the list report click next and what is the data source connect to data service and here actually we have to put that uh, URL here so put that URL certification is no problem use as it should be as user try to log in click next now you can see that these two services available for these applications um, so now you can use and in future if you add more service you can add in that cds view and it will available in your uh, applications so that's it for today uh, if you really like this video please uh, subscribe and click like button thank you